Hey guys, this is Eric with Ozone TCG here with a quick Edo Pro uh, tutorial. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at how to put a common charity ban list into your Edo Pro game. Um, this will allow you to see which cards are legal and illegal for the common charity format. It's updated every single list um, as well as updated every single set. Currently we're on the Brothers of Legend. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this web address into the description of this video. Um, it's accessible as well with the Common Charity Discord. I'll link that too. Um, check those out. We're part of it. And we host tournaments every so often um, for the Common Charity format. Have uh, And have a nice little set of, of potential prizing. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and show you this right now. Just so you can at least see if your list is legal for the Common Charity format. Alrighty, so first of all, you're going to go ahead and go to this web address, again, linked in the description, and you're going to want to download this configuration file. Uh, it should be updated every so often. Currently, it's at 167 kilobytes. However, that may change. Um, this is the downloadable version. There's also a text version. Again, I'll be linking everything just so you guys know. You're going to want to download it to someplace, either your downloads folder or your desktop. I have it already downloaded over here to my desktop. This is really easy. So you're going to go ahead and right-click cut or copy whichever one you prefer you're going to go to your edo pro uh wh wherever you store the file i have it in this doc in my documents folder in this case and then project ignis and then you're going to go over to this lf list this is the limited and forbidden lists file this is how everything's updated if you want to ever have a custom one and you're just going to go ahead and paste it in uh very very simple to do um yeah so we're going to close out of that um, you don't need to save anything else really and then you're gonna go over to your Edo Pro um, take a look and then go to your decks and it should have your common charity right here uh, again this, so this is gonna be updated every so often the developer is very good at it uh, it's actually Diamond Dude TCG he's one of the the owners of the Twitter account for common charity um, yeah go follow <laughs> again link in the description um, but this is going to be updated every so often with every new sets so that we have the full list of commons that are allowed and list of cards that are not allowed but this can show you so you can see in this case oh i have the sun avalon this is from our recent profile um have this here uh genius lochi does not come in common at all it only comes ultra currently you know at the time of this recording but a card like lone fire blossom or evil thorn both originally uh, both originally released as common so you can see here that they are listed at unlimited and you know if it's a card that's at one um it'll show because these all have common printings um, that, that are legal. Often we see Skill Drain or, or Red Reboot or Imperial Order in this format. <clears throat> but cards that are one obviously will, be, will still be at one. Uh, but the forbidden cards, so any card that is banned, for example, uh, that's normally in the format, of course, you're going to see that. Um, but if a card that, say, uh, Masterpiece, uh, it was never printed in a common, it will show also as a zero that is forbidden and that you cannot play it. Um, so it's really easy to do. We're going to have some more tutorials, quick tutorial for you guys, just so you guys can at least uh, get introduced to the common charity format and easily look it up through Edo Pro. You can also use um, one of our friends of the of the channel, um, Alan with uh, YGO Pro Deck. They have a fantastic database to search all the common cards. Um, again, if you guys have any other tutorials you guys want to see, uh, we're very good with Edo Pro. Uh, please let us know in the description below and uh, see you guys in the next tutorial.